Up next, I have a mod that allows you to control the elements with arrows. Also, there are chickens. Unfortunately, there is no mining. Get this out of here. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Video and audio bandwidth provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome to OMG Craft. I'm Chad Johnson. In this episode, the testificates are angry. I've, I've angered them. In this episode, we are going to be covering my favorite aspect of Minecraft modding. Last week, we showed you a really easy launcher, which allows you to easily mod your Minecraft game. So this week, I'm covering a simple mod that changes only one aspect of the game of Minecraft. That is combat with bows and arrows. Okay, so here we are in an enchanted forest that we have made for the game. I actually went ahead and turned uh, uh, turned myself into creative mode just so I, I don't get swarmed with the, uh, the mobs we're going to use for target practice here. First is uh, a new recipe for a bow. Normal bows will work just fine, but uh, they've added this recipe of three diamonds and three string into the game. And when put into the crafting table with a normal bow recipe, you get out a homing bow. Of course, this bow uses up diamonds, which are quite expensive. So, you know, you have to keep that in mind. Also, let me go ahead and show off the first arrow of the game, the fire area arrow. Of course, these are elemental arrows, so we're gonna go through fire, ice, uh, lightning, and explosions. Uh, the elements of, of Minecraft, you know. So uh, it, they work just like uh, normal arrows. You only get a single arrow out of it. But with these arrows, let me just go ahead and shoot it through a normal bow. They will catch things on fire. So there we go, flaming arrows right into the face of all of these zombies who are coming after me. Hello, 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 all, all you zombies. Don't worry, there's enough to go around. If you, uh, let me show off what the homing arrow does. If you fire it, it will actually shoot the nearest mob next to you. So if I just fire, if I pretty much I can just spam these arrows and it's just going to constantly shoot at the mob. So even if I'm turned this way, my arrow makes it over there. If an, a flame arrow uh, hits the ground or hits another block, it will actually catch that block on fire, just like using flint and steel will. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, well, uh, onto, onto the next arrow. Uh, the, the next arrow is the ice arrow. And you use that by using up a snowball and some uh, sticks and feathers, just like normal. I'm just uh, left clicking here to get some ice arrows. Uh, let's see if we can put out this fire here with a few ice arrows. Ice arrows will extinguish fires. They will also uh, fire, hit uh, mobs just like you would expect. It looks like uh, this, this fire has just gotten out of control and, and there's just nothing I can, I can do about it here. Uh, I can try to, to, to get some of these out of here, but, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just giving up. The other thing that ice arrows will do is it will freeze over lakes, just like that. I actually have to go ahead and make myself some more ice arrows. Uh, luckily, I am in creative, so bam, let's just do that. Um, so they will freeze over lakes to create nice bridges that you can walk over. Uh, and you can also try to, to trap mobs in the frozen lake, uh, just kind of like I've done with, with this skeleton here. Now, oh, whoa. We've moved from the enchanted forest to the to the to the the devil the devil lake I'll call it. Ice arrows will also freeze over lava just like this creating a nice pathway for me to walk over. And just kind of showing that off right there in the middle. Ice arrows also do one more thing and that is they will destroy torches that have been placed down. So if I look for some torches, and let's go ahead and add that to my inventory, 
If I place these down on something, they will, when fired upon, they will actually pop off of the thing that they are attached to, which is uh, unusual for arrows to do. Let's get into our next arrow. We have a whole bunch here. Let me go ahead and just add these unwanted things to this chest. First, let's get into the gunpowder or exploding arrows. Once again, crafted just like normal arrows. You only get one out of it. But with this arrow, actually, let me get rid of this last frozen arrow. Get out of here. Uh, with this arrow, when you fire at things, <laughs> it creates these. Uh, you know what, Creeper? Take a taste of your own medicine. Uh, it will uh, <laughs> it will destroy large areas of the game. Uh, get out of here. Uh, this is, can also be useful for mining. If, uh, say, you want to stand back and pr and precisely mine out an area, so it's like, you know what, that mountain, I'm just tired of looking at it. We can uh, easily create a hole into a mountain by firing arrows at it. It's also just kind of fun to just <laughs> bazooka things like, like, you know, that spawner, let's just bazooka, like, that, that chicken. You know what, you had it coming, chicken. Boom! Um, so anyway, that is the TNT arrow, just, just fun to play with. Next is the lightning arrow. This uses up a diamond in its recipe, and I'm gonna go ahead and shift click all of these lightning arrows out of here. Now this arrow is really cool. Uh, similar to the, to the, um, to the TNT arrow, uh, when you shoot it, it will, <laughs> bolts of lightning come out of the, nowhere and just smite whatever uh, it hits. So it'll smite this tray, tree, catch this tree on fire. We can shoot this one way over there. <laughs> this one's just, you know what, slime? You've had it coming. I've, you've been jumping around this whole time and it's just making me mad. Uh, the other thing is uh, this arrow can be easily used to uh, supercharge a creeper. If you need, if you really wanted a supercharged creeper, uh, you could fire it at a creeper and have lightning hit it, and all of a sudden you would have a supercharged creeper. Let me get to the last arrow while I just, you know, smite these, these poor animals. You know what? Oh, I missed. You know what? And that's what the homing, that's what the homing arrow is nice for. It's just over there. Oh, something's closer. Where's it going? Just shoot it up in the air. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot, shoot that thing. Bam, got it. Uh, now, Let's go ahead and take a look at my, my favorite arrow. I, I must admit, this is my, my favorite arrow. It is the egg arrow. What happens with the egg arrow? You might ask, you might say, Chad, you've gone through all of the elements. What is, what is this egg element that you speak of? Well, the egg arrow, when fired at mobs, will turn them into chickens. <laughs> hey, little guy. Uh, you can use this, of course, with either bow. Uh, when you fire an egg arrow at a chicken, uh, it will kill the chicken and then replace the chicken with a normal chicken. Also, if you just shoot the arrow at the ground, uh, a chicken will spawn out of it. But you know what? We have a, we have a plethora of sheep here. Let's, let's get rid of these, these sheep here. That sheep looks like he died and dropped a wool here. Um, the other fun thing that you can do with these chicken arrows is turn squids over here, <laughs> into chickens! Oh, chickens, get out of the water, you're gonna die. Come on, out, out, out. You're gonna suffocate. Are you, are you just like a squid chicken that's like, get out, I'll help you. Okay, it looks like, it looks like you're gonna, you're just gonna be, are you, are you in a quad? Oh, no, oh no, my squid, my squid, my squid chicken friends, they've all died. Oh my God, okay. Don't, don't turn squids into chickens, they just die. It's just sad, it's just a sad thing. No one's happy with that. So I hope that you enjoy this mod. It makes finding those extra items like gunpowder even funner to craft them into arrows that you can then explode all of your enemies with or lightning down the hand of God. It's amazing. So this is the Elemental Arrows mod. I hope that you have enjoyed this spotlight. If you would like to see more of these or subscribe to the show, you can go to youtube.com slash omgcraft or search for omgcraft in iTunes. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on another episode. Yeah.